This next poem is a poem about painting. When I was in Tom Stoppard's play, Artists Descending a Staircase, not long ago, I had to paint a painting during the play. And of course I didn't. I was too busy acting painting. But I thought I'd like to do this painting. It would be wonderful to do it during the show. Well, I've done that since. But um, this was rather complicated. It was meant to be an attempt at uh, a sort of latter-day pre-Raphaelite, a modernist turning pre-Raphaelite with unicorns and roses in a garden, the unicorn, uh, all because he was love-struck for, well, it's a complicated love triangle. Three artists, a staircase, an attic, um, and lots of very witty talk, as you can imagine, about painting. And um, this rather derided painting of his romantic vision of Sophie with the unicorn. I wrote a poem about it. The wayward paint and willful sable brush find me unable, undeft, laborious, not the ideal painter of a fable. A naked woman sitting about a garden with a unicorn eating the roses. Inching, dragging, dabbing, staring, caring and correcting and revising these poses of derivative devising. How many yes to morns must there have been since someone painted the first of unicorns? As I go, so slow, Sophie and her companions sit and seem to know how they should look and be. They see their perfect likeness, waiting till they feel they are acquainted with what it is I've painted. Patient, the delicate beast waits for his floral feast, rises above the daler rowney acrylic, already musing on something more idyllic than the daubs and drips of green surrounding him, knowing what he has seen. And Sophie, unabashed, waits to be dressed in perfect nakedness, her destiny and destination closer by each brushstroke's intimation, strives to catch her breath, its inspiration.